Artist Lounge is proudly presented to you by City. Sarah, good morning. Thanks for being here. I'm so, so happy to be here. It's so good to see you both. Oh, you know, Sarah, I got to tell you, uh, I, I have a new book out uh, uh, called uh, You Look So Much Better in Person. And a whole chapter is almost devoted to my time at the diner in Waitress, the musical you created. It, it's one of the things that literally changed my life. And I thank oh, you for that. I just love that so much. I, you, you were so beloved and the cast still to this day talks about you. It was such a highlight and such a thrill for them to get to share the stage with you. And you were so good, Al. Oh, so good. Stop it some more. <laughs> oh, please. Congrats on the book. That's so Thank exciting. you. Thank you. So let's talk about the show for a moment. It follows a young singer, songwriter, chasing her dreams. How much of it is based on your own life experiences? My co-creator and I, Jesse Nelson, who also did Waitress, um, we talk about it that best our lead character and I sort of share a spirit. It's not autobiographical. It's not really my life, but it is. There's lots of Easter eggs for people who sort of know the details of my life. So, Sarah, you've written uh, music for uh, movies, for Broadway, for radio, now TV. Is it different writing for the small screen than you would for, say, the radio or, or, or for a Broadway show? It was funny that my time at Waitress, I think, was very helpful to inform this because writing for a 23-year-old girl at this point is, um, you know, I mean, I'm almost 25 now, everyone, so <laughs> it's really a stretch. Um, so, I, you know, having to sort of reach back in my own memories um, was an interesting kind of exercise and kind of going back into another chapter of my life. But yes, the, the mechanism of television is really different. It's, there's a lot of moving pieces. The logistics are tremendously difficult. Well, you wrote a number of songs for the show, including the theme song, also called Little Voice. It's actually a song that you wrote a long time ago. Is that right? I had a dream about writing this song when I was in my 20s for my first record. And it was all about sort of capturing my strength as a young artist and being able to listen to my intuition. And it was called Little Voice. And then I was told that the song wasn't good enough to be on the record. <laughs> so I actually love this even more that all these years later, 15 years later, the song has been lying dormant and now it gets to be the theme song and sort of the thesis statement for our show about finding your voice so i love, I love it i'm so excited to hear new to hear this new song so how about you take it away take it away all right thank you it's everything i
Oh, mm. that was beautiful, Sarah. I mean, so anything good. but a little voice. It was so <laughs> spectacular. Thank Sarah you. Bareilles, thank you so much. Can't wait to see Little Voice streaming now on Apple TV+. Plus.